going to show you how to take your Facebook Live and repurpose it into a square video meme like this that you can use on other social networks, getting more exposure to your brand without adding tons of more time to your weekly calendar. Stay tuned, everybody. It's Be Live. Welcome back, I'm Owen Video, here again with another Facebook and YouTube Live tutorial. Good to see you. And today we're talking about repurposing because chances are you've done a Facebook Live that was outstanding, it was out of this world, it was so good, and you wanna share it with people outside of Facebook. This happens to me all the time. I often have amazing guests on my show and we have a freaking great time. Like for example, this stream with my friend Molly Mahoney. That show did so well that we wanted to share it out with our friends beyond just the Facebook platform. But we didn't want them to have to sit through a 45 minute live stream. We just wanted to show them an itty bitty clip so that they would know we have a cool show and that they can join us next week. That's where repurposing comes in. Repurposing your Facebook Live means to reuse or recycle the video so that it's appropriate for another platform. Repurposing is important because it allows you to reach new audiences on social media without having to make more content or spend countless hours on an editing software. And repurposing can easily be outsourced to an overseas editor or your 13 year old kid. However, if you don't repurpose your videos the right way, you could actually hurt your Facebook live stream viewers and your replay viewers. So make sure that you follow these steps when repurposing your Facebook Live. Tip number one, take notes on a notepad while you're live streaming. I use handwritten notes like this journal and whenever I say something cool or my guest says something cool, I write the timestamp on the paper here. This makes it easy to go back to the replay and find the exact moment I want to reuse. Now, I don't take detailed notes here because I want to stay focused on what I'm talking about and I can't, I can't be doing all sorts of things all the time. So I just write down the timestamp. All said and done, when I'm finished with the live stream, my notes might look something like this. Now, quick warning here, my friends, it doesn't have to be a perfect timestamp. Just when you're in the zone and you know you're saying something cool, just write down the time on your sheet of paper, knowing that you'll have to kind of skip forward ahead or skip back a little bit to find the perfect in and out zone for repurposing. Did that make sense? Tip number two, download the HD version of your video. Let me show you how to do that. Simply go into Facebook, click on the three dots next to the video here, and then select the download button. And in just a few hours, your live stream will be ready to repurpose. Doing it this way is easy and accessible by everyone, but Facebook is gonna give you a highly downgraded version of your Facebook live stream. To get the best looking crystal clear download of your video, then follow these steps. First, go to epiclivevideo.com and download your free trial of BeLive. Just log into your BeLive account and click on My Broadcasts. You'll see replay links to all of your previous broadcasts and you can simply click on Download HD version here. And when you do, you'll get an extremely clear version of your video. You do need to have a free trial of BeLive in order for that to work, and you can get a free trial today by going to epiclivevideo.com. That wasn't really a warning, bro. Step number three, you're gonna add your downloaded video right to an editing canvas. Now, it really doesn't matter which software that you use. I'm using one of my favorite softwares right now, and you can see that we've created a square editing canvas, okay? That is a 1080 by a 1080 canvas size. So it's very important that you make sure that your editing canvas is a square, okay? And then you're gonna wanna drag your widescreen rectangular video to the direct center of that square canvas. If you do it correctly, you'll have a black bar above you and a black bar below you just like this. Now you're gonna take the playhead and move it to one of the timestamp areas that you wrote down in your notes. You're gonna find the perfect in point and out point and you're gonna trim down this video to a two or three minute clip that highlights the segment that you wrote down in your notes. Now, this is where it gets extremely fun because now we're going to memeify your Facebook Live video. And by meme, what I mean is a square video like the one you see on the screen here with text above and captions below. This style and format is extremely popular for getting views and getting clicks on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Now, let's go back to repurposing our Facebook Live with step four, adding a meme background. 
So I'm back here in my editor and I have my two to three minute clip and I need to find a fun, powerful background to go with this meme video. My first step is gonna go onto Google Images, search for things like red background and see if I find anything I like. But be careful, some of those images are copyrighted and you can't use them without permission. Here's another resource. Use any stock photo company and find backgrounds there. Once you find a background that you like, go ahead and drag it into your canvas behind your video. Doesn't that look fantastic? That brings us to step number five, add an epic headline. Now your headline should be no more than two words on top, but it really needs to be giant text, something that should stand out from the background. It should not blend in and they should be eye catching. Something that's really gonna grab your audience's attention. Now, if you need to, you can maybe add some supporting text underneath the main headline, but your focus should be this main headline that's really like two words and just designed to hook your audience or grab their attention in the newsfeed. Remember, if it doesn't grab their attention, it will never nab their retention. That was good. A finished headline sentence might look something like this, and now we're ready to move on to the lower area down here, which is step number six, add captions. Every editing program has the ability to add captions, although they all do it a slightly different way. There's also numerous different softwares available online where you can easily grab your captions. Now remember, we're only adding captions for a two or three minute segment, so it's very easy and extremely affordable to add captions. Once you've added captions to your repurposed Facebook Live video, it might look something like this. Now we're just about done, but before you upload this video, there's one thing you have to remember. Do not put these videos on YouTube. These repurposed videos are designed for Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. I also wouldn't recommend taking your whole Facebook Live and re-uploading it to YouTube. You're only repurposing for those three big platforms, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And if you miss this last step, you're gonna screw the whole thing up. So follow along as I show you what's up. If I export this right now in 1080 by 1080, I can upload this to Facebook and LinkedIn, no problem. But when you upload to Instagram, you get two big problems. And that's this, videos longer than one minute cannot be uploaded to the Instagram newsfeed, but instead must be uploaded to IGTV. And the second problem is this, you can't upload square videos to IGTV. So what are you gonna do? Hang on just one second, Turbo. I'm gonna show you a trick that will make this entire video worth it. Cut! Can you guys, can you guys stop that and get to the video, please? Amateurs. So you're gonna go ahead and export the video in a square format so that you can upload to Facebook and LinkedIn. But then you're gonna go back into your editing software and change the canvas to a vertical size. That is 1080 by 1920. You can also do 720 by 1280. And there you have it. Now you have a square video smack dab in the middle of a vertical canvas, which looks fantastic on IGTV. And everything said and done, you'll have two different repurposed Facebook Live videos that are ready to be uploaded to Facebook, LinkedIn, and IGTV which will help you to get more exposure on the newsfeed, which will grow your live stream show. Don't those look fantastic? Now, keep the momentum going by watching this video next, where I'll show you how to conduct a perfect Facebook Live interview with one or more people. Click on the video now. I'm Owen, and I'll see you there.